whole piece. Because I want to see if one half plus one fourth is going to be larger or smaller than one. So without building one half plus one fourth, if I look at my one half tile and my one fourth tile, if you visually put those tiles together, are those tiles going to be larger than one or less than one? Less, less. Okay, you all both say less than, everybody say less than one. Mm -hmm. So let's build this. So I got one half plus one fourth. So it is less than one. So that lets me know what type of answer am I going to have. It's going to be a proper fraction because it's less than one. All proper fractions are less than one. So go ahead and build this with your own um, fraction tile. Your one should be on top, and your one half plus your one fourth is going to be on the bottom. Okay, so our goal, this is the goal. The goal is to find the same fraction pieces that you can line up under that one half plus that one fourth. And that's gonna be our answer. You're gonna use the same fraction tile pieces. So I'm gonna kind of give y'all a, a little template. So you're gonna see what fraction pieces can fit on that third row. But they're gonna be the same fraction pieces. So you all go ahead and work together and talk to each other and see which fraction pieces you need that's going to um, line up under that. Okay, so I see everybody has their answer. Okay, so I see you all put ace under them. Okay, how many one eighth pieces did you put under them? Six. You put six, so we're going to add six one eighth pieces under them. And the goal is it needs to fit perfectly and line up perfectly with that one half plus that one four. So um, does those, do those six eighths line up perfectly with that one half plus that one four? No. Okay, it looks like it does. So if I trace that, that lines up perfectly. Okay, so remember I told you my problem was one half plus one fourth, right? And you all said it equals to what answer? Six what? Eight. Now, our problem says add, right? So what did they do? Did they add straight across to get that six eight? How do I know that they did not add straight across to get that six eight as an answer? Because one plus one is six. One plus one is six. I mean, one plus one is two. Okay. And two plus four, that is six. Okay. One plus one is two, right? And then two plus four is six, but these are not the same. So what we need to do is figure out how they got that six eighths because they did not add straight across. So that is something I want to stress. When you're adding fractions, you do not add straight across. That is what people do when they do not know how to add fractions. They resort to adding straight across. They go they go to, okay, let me just add this straight across to get the answer that's wrong. So don't ever add straight across. That's not going to give you the answer. Now, what I want to do is I want to look at my time. I want to go back to my picture here. So I want to outline, I want to come up with an equivalent fraction. Let's talk about that word equivalent. If I got one dollar, what's another way I can get a dollar other than one whole dollar bill? Two fifty cents. I get two fifty cent pieces. What else can I do to get a dollar? Four twenty-five cents. Four twenty-five cents. Four what? What's another word for twenty-five cents? What is it? What's that called? Four quarters. Four quarters. What else? 
what else can I do to make a dollar? A, a paper dollar bill, and I can make it. I want to make a dollar in another way. Hundred pence. Okay, now so equivalent mean that you're using something, make it using something different, but it's gonna be the same answer or gonna be the same thing. They're equal. So equivalent is it just means equal. So I want to find an equivalent fraction to one half. So I want to outline my one half, and I want to outline these eighths that fall up under that one half. How many eighths did I use to make one half? Four. four. So one half is equivalent to four eighths. And then I want to outline my one four and those eighths under it. So how many eighths made that one four? Two. two. So that's two eighths. So two eighths is equivalent, is the same as one four. So now, that answer is still going to be 6 eighths. Now, looking at this part right here, what did they do to get from here to there? What did they do to this part to get 6 eighths? What did they do? They added the numerator. They added the numerator. Okay, I see that because I see. Cause how did they add them? They what? 4 plus 2 and it's 6. Okay, 4 plus 2 is 6. And what else they did? And then they kept the denominator. And they kept the denominator. We got 8, 8, and 8. They still did not add straight across. How do I know they still did not add straight across? Because 8 plus 8 is 16. 8 plus 8 is 16. So I know they didn't add straight across. So going back to my point, I'm stressing this. We do not add fractions straight across. And nor do we subtract them when we get to subtraction. But we don't add fractions straight across. They only add the numerators and they kept the denominator. So your goal when you add in fractions, you're trying to come with come up with a common denominator. If you get a common denominator, you can add the numerators. Now in fourth grade, this is what you all learn. You learn how to add fractions with like denominators. But in fifth grade, you learn how to add fractions with different denominators or unlike denominators. Let's look at another example. So let's look at the problem three fifths plus one half. So three fifths plus one half. In your mind, this is what I want you to think about. We're going to visualize this. Three fifths. So this is our one fifth piece, right? Mm -hmm. How many fifths do I need to make three fifths? Mm -hmm. I need three of them. How many halves do I need to make one half? One. One. Okay. Now, if I make this model right here, do y'all think that this is going to be larger or smaller than one? What do you all think? Smaller. Smaller. You said smaller? Smaller? What you think? You think it's going to be smaller? You going to try larger? Okay, let's see. So I heard three of you all say um, it's going to be smaller. So let's try it out and see. So we add in, we add in three fills. So I got one, two, three. Everybody needs to just be looking. Plus one half. What happened when I put this one half up in? What's happening? It's too, it's, it's too large. It disappeared, right? So that lets me know the three fifth plus one half is going to be what? Larger than one. Larger than one. So I want to change up my units. I need two of these up here because I need room. So I'm going to put it back up here. Three fifths. One, two, three plus one half. What do you notice? It's larger than one. Everybody see that? Model that. Go ahead and model that. Three fifths plus one half. And I want you to come up with what can fit. We're using the same. We're using the same towel, equal parts, to line up under my problem. Try what you think. And if you don't have enough pieces, you got to borrow a piece from somebody, borrow from your neighbor. Okay, so tell me, I see you all trying one tip. Why, why are you all trying one tip or trying tips? Because... 
already see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six hills are equal. Three fields. Okay. So, and I just need some more tims to see if it's going to be equal. It's going to be Okay. And you, you know, you got something different. You got 12. So tell me why you trying 12s. Because these are um, like smaller. So if I fit, because these are smaller. You said because they're small, they're going to fit. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Okay, yeah. everybody got good logic. Let's try it out. Let's just see what's going to work. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's You got to open it. Yeah, Okay. Okay. Keep building your own. Let's go ahead and keep building it. Okay. Now, I want everybody to look at each other. Each other's model. Okay. Now, all of you three got one. Y'all use 10s. You use 12. Somebody right here, tell me what you know about yours. Okay, you say you all fit perfectly. What you notice? Mine, mine a little too short. It's just a little bit too short, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you can see it, right? Mm -hmm. So let's try the Tim's. Because we see here just a little bit too short, right? Mm -hmm. So let's try these Tim's. How many Tim's did you, you all put up here? How many Tim's you all got? Mm -hmm. Say 11. Now, we know that this ounce is going to be bigger than one hole. So it's 11 Tim's bigger than one. Well, how do we know 11 tenths is bigger than 1? Because, because, because 11, the numerator is bigger than the number. And what does that mean? It means it's an improper fraction. It's an improper fraction. And all improper fractions are what? Larger than 1. Larger than 1. Good. Okay. So let's work on now our problem. So our problem was 3 fifths. Plus one half, right? And we said the ounce was 11 tenths. So let's test it out. Did we, okay, did we add straight across to get our answer? Okay, how do we know that? Because three plus, cause three plus one is four. Okay, right, three plus one is four, not 11. And then, so to be honest, if we see that one of them is wrong, do I need to Test the bottom number for real. Yeah, My denominator, I really don't. But if I want to test it, 5 plus 2 is 7. That's not 10. So you never add straight across. I want to stress that. You never add straight across when you add fractions. Okay, so now we need to come up with some equivalent fractions to see how they got this answer. Come on. So, you need to do 6, 6, Okay, show me that on there. Show me that. Because... Six cells and three fourths. Three fifths. Three fifths. Okay. Are equal to each other. Okay, I see that. So right here, if we do what he said, he said he said six of these tenths. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six tenths plus, okay. Now, what is equivalent to one half? How many tenths is equivalent to one half? So we see five, let us see. So let's count that. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five tenths, okay. And that answer is supposed to be 11 tenths. Now, how did they, do we see how they got 11 tenths once we make these equivalent fractions? Okay, how do we see that? You hear from somebody else? Come on. How'd they get that 11 tenths? Come on. The 11 tenths? Mm-hmm. Because 6 plus, they added the top number. Because 6 plus 5 is 11. Okay. Then they kept the bottom number, so they're going to equal to it on. Yeah, 11 tenths. That's right. They added my top number. What's my top number called? The and then what, what's my bottom number called? The and they got 11 tenths. Very good. Now, um, next time we're going to talk about how can we change this improper fraction to a mixed number. But that is very good. Okay, very good. Now go back to doing your work.